Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to be sharing two very renowned um, jazz songs with you. The first one is by Duke Ellington, it's Concerto for Cootie, and the second being by Count Bassey, it's called Blues and Hoss Flat. So I'm going to play you a little bit of each. We're going to start with Duke Ellington's. Okay. It's very slow. This is what I can picture jazz music sounding like. This is what I think of when I when I think of the word jazz. I think that's the trumpet I hear. I, I do enjoy it. Um, it's very relaxing. Okay. Very nice. It does pick up a little bit throughout. You'll see like, see like right now, picking up. So overall, pretty calm, pretty slow song. So this is Count Bassey's Blues and Hoss Flat. I, I really like this one a lot. It's so energetic. Right away, it's something that I enjoy. This is something you can dance to. So you can get a feel of the two different songs. So I feel like they're on way different spectrums of jazz. They're very, very different. So I'd like to discuss a little bit more about each song. So let's first talk about Duke Ellington. So Concerto for Cootie. Um, overall, the tempo I would classify as moderato tempo, and that is just an Italian word for describing a very moderate speed of music. Um, it was just definitely not, definitely not fast, so I would say moderate. Um, I would put this style, um, of music under cool jazz. I feel like that is what best... It could best be defined as. So the type of instruments, um, there are two that stood out to me. The two that I heard the most um, and were most prominent to me were the trumpet and trombone. Um, but also I could just hear a little bit of drums in the background as well as piano. It's just here and there. They were a lot harder to pick up than the other two. So the dynamics would be soft. Another way to say soft is piano. Piano dynamic throughout with frequent louder sections. Um, but even with those louder sections, I, I wouldn't classify the song as loud. Um, definitely soft. Um, the melody, it was smooth, it was soothing, pleasant, and slow. The overall effect, I would say this song is very relaxing. Um, it is something that I can picture playing in a Starbucks or some kind of cafe. Just some kind of background music that you wanna to listen to when you're trying to either get work done or just relax, kind of unwind. It's not something that you wanna to dance to. <laughs> so the overall pitch, um, it was a low pitch with parts of high, um, with parts of high pitch with the use of the trumpet. I think that's what you know brought up the pitch several times in the song. So on to Count Bassey's Blues and Hoss Flat, this song, I, I liked it so much better. It was just so lively to me. So we can describe this tempo as a vivace tempo. And that is another Italian word that can describe a very lively and upbeat tempo. Um, I would classify this song as a type of swing music. Um, that's just because, like I said, it's something that you can dance to. It is very upbeat, um, loud and fast. Definitely a uh, type of swing music. So I wasn't able to pick up on too many instruments in this song. I feel like they use less instruments, um, but at different pitches. So the two that stuck out to me were the trumpet and the saxophone. Um, I think that I did hear a little bit of piano in the background, but since it was the trumpet and the saxophone are so loud, it's kind of hard to pick up some of the other instruments that may have been playing. Um, I would say the overall dynamic is definitely very loud um, throughout. It doesn't change, the the dynamic doesn't really change throughout that song, so I would just say loud. 
the melody. It was lively, brisk, bright, and cheerful. It was very pleasant to listen to. Um, the overall effect, I'd say, made me happy. It's a very joyful song. Um, like I said before, it's something that makes you want to dance. Um, and the pitch, I would say it maintains a high pitch throughout. So as you can see, these two songs are, are drastically different. Um, even though they're both different types of jazz, they're different styles of jazz, they're different genres of jazz. Um, and it's really cool to see how much jazz music can vary by what year it was made in, who made it, um, as other different kinds of you know, instruments showed up and people thought of all this different stuff to add to their music. Um, it's just, it's wonderful to see how much it can change throughout each song and throughout the years in history. Um, yeah, so overall, um, Concerto for Cootie was just a very slow song, something that you or me personally, I think of when I think of jazz music. Um, Count Bassey's Blues and Hosfat is definitely something I do think of as jazz music, but more lively. So these are great songs, and if you haven't listened to them, I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys.